Hey guys, how are you all? So today we are going to discuss the second lesson of organic chemistry, twelfth standard. Okay. So after studying this lesson, what are the things you are able to? The name of the alcohols, phenols, IEP system of Brahman culture. Then second one, discuss the relation between the discuss the reaction involved in the preparation of alcohol from the your alkene, aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid. Then third thing. Discuss the relation involved in the preparation of phenol from allorins, benzene sulfonic acid, then diazonium salt and cumin. Then fourth one, the discuss the reaction for the preparation of ether from the alcohol and alkyl halide and alkoxide. So alkyl halide, alkoxide. This is Williamson synthesis. Okay. There is a correlation or relation between the physical properties of the alcohol, phenol, ether and their structure. Then discuss the chemical reaction of the three classes of compound on the basis of functional group. Right. So first we start with definition of alcohol and phenol. Definition of alcohol phenol. Okay. So alcohol. If I take the hydrocarbon, let's take the example of butane. In this, in the second position, I just replace one hydrogen by O H. This we call it as a aliphatic alcohol. When it comes to aromatic alcohol, this is your aromatic compound. In this, there is a one hydrogen is there. That hydrogen is replaced by O H. This we call it as a aryl alcohol. Aryl alcohol. Okay. Then I will tell you the the definition for the ether. Uh, for definition for the ether, there is a two way representation. It is there. One way. Let's take the example of hydrocarbon. Okay, say for example pentane. In the third position, I just replace one nitrogen by alkoxy. Okay, then I take the one aryl compound. In that, just replace the one nitrogen by alkoxy. Okay, this is one way to represent the definition of ether. Then another way. Let's take the example of your alcohol. Okay, butanol. Then one more alcohol is your phenol. Okay, so in this, in the O H there is hydrogen is there, right? In the O H there is hydrogen is there. That hydrogen replaced by that hydrogen is replaced by your alkyl group. This is also another kind of representation of definition of your ether. Okay, clear? When it comes to the classification of your alcohol. The first on the basis of number of O H group. Okay, so here there is a one O H, two O H, three H. So this is monohydric alcohol. This is dihydric alcohol. This is trihydric alcohol. Okay, so the compound which contain the only one O H further, it can be classified into primary, then secondary, then tertiary. Right? Let's take one example of primary. I already explained primary, secondary in a great detail in the first lesson itself. Look here. This is one carbon. In this O H is present, right? This carbon is O H bonded carbon. This is connected with only one carbon. So this is primary alcohol. In case the O H bonded with this carbon, okay? This carbon bonded with two other carbon. So then this is secondary. Then Carbon bonded with O H, the O H bonded carbon, okay, bonded with three other carbon, okay. This is tertiary alcohol. Clear. Then the next classification, you are allyl alcohol and benzyl alcohol. Allyl alcohol, benzyl alcohol. I already told you in the first lesson itself what is allyl, what is benzyl. Look here. You are a alkylic group. The O H group bonded with the sp3 hybridized carbon. That is next to your carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, this is we call it as a allylic alcohol. This is we call it as a allylic alcohol. Again, your O H bonded with the sp3 hybridized carbon. That is next to your aromatic ring. This is your benzyl alcohol. This is your benzyl alcohol. Then there is a two more class: vinyl alcohol and aryl alcohol. Your O H directly bonded with 
sp2 hybridized to carbon atom of carbon carbon double bond so this is vinylic alcohol vinylic alcohol okay your oh is your oh is directly bonded with sp2 hybridized to carbon atom of your aromatic ring this is we call it as a aryllic alcohol aryllic alcohol okay in the aryl alcohol there is a one oh group is there so this is monohydric alcohol then this is dihydric this is trihydric alcohol okay then when it comes to ether the ether there is a two type of ether is there i will explain one by one okay the first type the first type the oxygen bonded with same alkyl group okay if it oxygen bonded with same kind of alkyl group then one more example also i will give you same kind of alkyl group on both side okay then it is call it as a simple or symmetrical simple or symmetrical then your oxygen bonded with two different alkyl group then this is your mixed or unsymmetrical ether unsymmetrical ether clear okay so the first question i will explain to you identify the following into primary secondary and tertiary alcohol so the oh bonded carbon connected with only one carbon right so this is primary so here also the oh bonded carbon connected with only one carbon so again this is primary so this is oh bonded carbon connected with only one carbon so again this is primary this is oh bonded with this carbon connected with one carbon here one carbon so this is secondary Uh, so this is oh bonded carbon so one carbon here second carbon here so this is secondary this is oh bonded carbon okay connected with one carbon two carbon three carbon so this is tertiary okay so one more question they are asking that is identify the allylic alcohol in the above example okay what is allylic alcohol oh should be bonded with sp3 hybridized to carbon oh directly bonded with sp2 sp3 hybridized carbon that is next to your carbon carbon double bond so this is allylic okay but in case of this one sp3 hybridized carbon that is not next to the your carbon carbon double bond so this is not come so here no carbon carbon double bond here also no carbon carbon double bond uh, then your oh bonded with sp3 hybridized carbon that is next to your carbon carbon double bond this also allylic so here there is no double bond so this is not like clear then we will go for the name of the alcohol okay we will go for the alcohol so in case let's take the example of ch3 ch ch ch3 we can give the number in a two way 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 okay the first way your oh bonded carbon which has the 3 in number in second way your oh bonded carbon 2 so we have to give the least possible number to the your oh while we numbering so this name is butane 2 all butane 2 all okay clear then one more thing i want to explain to you that is in case your alcohol molecule which has one or two or more oh group in your molecule then then say for example what is the name of this carbon chain ethane okay ethane if it two or more oh group is there the e should not be removed from your alkane so ethane 1,2 diol okay one more example is there ch2 ch ch2 ogh 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 here also this name is propane so propane 1 comma 2 comma 3 trial 1 comma 2 comma 3 trial clear so this is methanol this is propanol propane onal this is propane to all right this is propane to all then this is uh, your butane so butane onal so in case of this one so butane 2 all here 1 2 3 so 2 methyl propane 1 all okay 
in case of this one one two three okay so two methyl propane two one okay in case of this one one and two i already told you this one ethane one comma two trial and propane one comma two two comma three trial okay but in case of if it your compound is cyclic in nature at the time the prefix cyclo should be used okay so cyclo hexanol so this is one this is two so two methyl cyclo pentanol okay the in case of uh, your phenol the simplest hydroxy derivative of benzene okay its common name also accepted by iepc name in case if you are taking the this is the phenol right okay so your iepc name your common name going to be same in case of phenol right so if it if it more than one oh group is present then the term we can say one comma two di substituted or ortho if it 1 comma 3 substituted then this is meta if it 1 comma 4 substituted that is para right so look here so in toline there is a presence of oh group right so this is phenol this is 1 2 okay sorry your oh should get the least number right so 1 2 okay so 2 methyl phenol this is 1 2 3 this is 3 methyl phenol this is 1, 2, 3, so 4 methyl phenol, so orthocrystal, metacrystal, paracrystal. So as we discussed earlier, the benzene 1 comma 2 diol, this is benzene 1 comma 3 diol, so this is benzene 1 comma 4 diol, okay, 1 comma 2 diol we call it as a ketigal, 1 comma 3 diol we can say resarcinol, then 1 comma 4 diol we can say hydroquinone or quinone, okay. Then when it comes to ether, the common name of ether are derived from the name of the alkyl group written in separate word alphabetical order adding the word ether at the end okay so look here dimethyl ether diethyl ether methyl n propyl ether methyl phenyl ether ethyl phenyl ether heptyl phenyl ether methyl isopropyl ether so phenyl isopropyl ether so let's take one ether so obviously there is a both side uh, obviously it is going to be different number of carbon atom okay so here there is a three carbon atom here two carbon atom so if it more number of carbon atom whatever whichever the side is more number of carbon atom this is come in the suffix this come in the less number come in the prefix okay look here so both are same right so methoxy methane so ethoxy ethane so this side three carbon this side one carbon so methoxy propane so this side one carbon this side six carbon so methoxy benzene so one side six carbon another side two carbon so ethoxy benzene one side seven carbon one side six carbon so one phenoxy heptane then in case of this one one two three okay so two methoxy propane then in case of this one so this side six carbon this side only four carbon so one two three four so we can say three methyl but butoxy three methyl butoxy this is okay this is three methyl butoxy benzene okay in case of this one so both side there is a methoxy is there so one comma two dimethoxy ethane okay so in case of this one so here there is a two substituent okay but in case of here one so 2 ethoxy 1 comma 1 dimethyl cyclohexane okay so look here if both alkyl group are same okay so di is added to alkyl group example your diethyl ether okay so this is alkoxy this is aryloxy clear then IEPC name of the following they are asking okay so first we should give the number so 1 2 3 4 5 okay in the fourth position chlorine is there right 4 chloro second and third position there is a methyl so 4 chloro 2 comma 3 dimethyl pentane okay so in the first position alcohol is there then in case of this one 1 2 3 so 2 ethoxy propane in case of this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in the first position so this is phenol right in second and sixth position there is methyl is there so 2 comma 6 dimethyl phenol okay in case of uh, here 1 and 2 okay so 1 ethoxy 2 nitrocyclohexane next 
the name of the following compound in the IEPC. Okay, name of the following compound in the IEPC. Look here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is your isopropyl. This is your chloromethyl. Okay, so three chloromethyl, two isopropyl, butane. Sorry, five carbon is there. So pentane one all. But in case of this one, one, two, three, four, five, six carbon. So here in case there is a two OH group is present. So two comma five dimethyl. 2,5 dimethyl 1,3 diol okay in case of this one 1 2 3 so 3 bromo cyclohexanol in case of this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so x uh, 1 in x 1 in 3 r okay x 1 in 3 r in case of this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, 2 bromo, 3 methyl, but 2 enol. Okay. This is the name of the fifth compound. Then, when it comes to structure of the functional group, in algal, oxygen of OH group is attached to. Okay. So, here some of the things we need to discuss in elaborate PA. Look here. see this is your one compound okay this is one the second one ch3 o h okay so this oxygen is sp3 based one this c is sp3 based one then third one is ch3 o ch3 so if i if i compare the bond angle of all three Okay, so this bond angle going to be 109 degree 28 minute. Okay, but this one is less than 109 degree 28 minute because there is a presence of lone pair of electron over the oxygen. In case of this one, third one, ether, your bond angle going to be more than 109. Okay, your bond angle going to be more than 109 degree 28 minute. This is because there is a two bulky group which is ripple with each other that is the reason why it is more than 109 degree 28 minute okay this is one thing next thing i want to explain to you is if i am taking the aliphatic algal and aryllic algal okay what would be the your bond length okay so this is ch3 oh okay this is your benzene and OH clear this two if i compare the bond length of this carbon and oxygen this carbon and oxygen bond length of carbon and oxygen in case this one first one and the second one first one your OH is your O is bonded with sp3 iodized carbon but in second one OH is bonded with sp2 iodized carbon sp2 iodized carbon okay so in this First one, the lone pair of electron is localized. Here there is no resonance is possible. But in case of second one, the lone pair of electron involved in the resonance. So it became a partially double bond character. So second one bond length going to be lesser compared to the first one. Understood? I will stop here. I will resume the uh, class. Next topic, uh, it might be preparation. Okay. So thank you all for watching, watching my video. Okay. So, do prepare well for the exam, okay, do well in exam, all the best.